In this video, I'll show you how to import your data and run the PCA. So I'm using a read.csv and my file name is employeefactor.csv. You should be able to download it and run it yourself as well. And I'm storing it in a data frame called EMP factor. And I'm running the names command. You get to see all the names here. So this is a customer, I'm sorry, an employee satisfaction survey. So if you read the names of the variables, you could see that they're pretty much the survey questions themselves. There are variables like paid more than others, like people I work with can work from home, so on and so forth. The objective of running this factor analysis is to figure out how many drivers there exist for employee satisfaction. That is, what are these drivers that play in the background in terms of employee satisfaction. So the first task with our data set is to use the principal component analysis. This is purely to find out how many factors exist, not exactly about which variables are in these factors, but how many factors exist. We run this function and we look at the summary. Now if you look close, the proportion of variance is telling you what proportion of variance does this particular component contribute. And this proportion of variance is going to keep dropping with every new component. So if you look at this number, it started off with 26% and ends up with 9% by the fifth component. So as you can see, with each additional component, the proportion of variance starts dropping quite drastically. So we end up with just 6% of variance by the sixth component. So by taking a look at this, we could assume that five factors is what we want. That beyond five factors, the proportion of variance that is explained is not comprehensive. So we can guess at this point that five are the number of factors we want. We can confirm this by plotting. So we've gone up to component five, which is here. And as you can see beyond that, the components fall off quite drastically. There is not much uh, variance that is being explained. In the next video, we'll see how we can use the fact anal function to find out what are these five factors we're looking for.